Hi, it's Heather again. I'm going to show you today how to do a snow overlay in combination with a twinkle light overlay. Um, the snow overlay is uh, from my A Little Snow How collection, and the twinkle light overlay is from my Twinkle in Time collection. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we've got our twinkle light overlay here and this lovely picture of a bride and groom. And we're going to go over here and grab our move tool. Now let's... I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Yep. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Grabbing the move tool! Okay. Click, drag, and drop. Okay, we're going to go over here, resize it. I want this one a little bit smaller because it's farther away. And then I also um, am going to do um, a second copy, which you can do when you click and hold your Alt button and uh, drag it to resize it. Okay, and then I'm going to go over and essentially glue these two layers together by holding my Control or Shift button and then adding the E button to it. And what that does is it just glues it all together. And then we're going to go to the blending mode and we're going to pick the um, screen option. And you can go through and uh, scroll through with your scroll wheel and see what the different effects do. Um, here we are going through the scroll. And it's a lot more fun with the colored bokeh overlays because it changes the whole color of it. But uh, you can just see what things would look like in different blending modes by scrolling through that. If you have your scroll wheel set um, to um, scroll, uh, zoom with the scroll wheel. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put a layer mask on and uh, paint off the areas where we don't have lights. We're going to make sure that we have black selected and go ahead and choose a soft round brush. We're going to go ahead and just paint away those areas that we don't want um, lights to show up, obviously, on the bride and groom. We don't want the lights there. Now the great thing about a layer mask is that uh, the black conceals and the white reveals. Um, it's far better than using the erase tool because you can always uh, go back and undo any mistakes that you make by just simply changing the color. I'm going to go ahead and take it off of the tree over here. Make sure we just have it on the evergreen trees. And uh, since I had a bigger brush, we're going to switch to a smaller brush and to white. Go in here and uh, pop those lights back up right behind him using the white. Uh, just layer masks are amazing. I can't believe I used to not know how to use them. <laughs> so we all have to learn, right? Okay, we are done with that. Let's go ahead and pull up our bokeh overlay. And go ahead and uh, move it over. Click, drag, and drop. Oh, it looks like I forgot some things, so I'm going to have to go back to my black and clean that up a little more. There, much better. I think I can live with that. Okay, that's looking good right there. Yep. Okay, now back to the bokeh. Back to our move tool. Pick it up. Drag it over. Resize it. And then we're going to want to play with the um, blending modes. Now you'll notice that it changes color. You can see the textures better in some of these um, as you scroll through. Some of them look kind of freaky weird, um, <laughs> but that's playing with it is is all the fun. Now, 
you can pull down the opacity and what what this is doing on this uh, when we're doing a snow overlay is that uh, white bokeh will kind of create a haze maybe make the uh, picture a little more softer uh, feel like a, actually um, a snowing day is occurring actually when I took that picture it was really cold and sunny the sun was about ready to go down okay we're back here um, okay here we are playing with our um, bit. screen modes again open our layer mask we're on black Okay, let's go ahead and remove and a little bit. And what, down. what we want to do is uh, take the opacity it's way like down better. on this so that it's just a and really just subtle effect. Make sure your brush is a very, very soft brush, brush. so that there's no harsh edges. Haze. What this does is it um, adds so kind that of it's a just very subtle haze subtle. of a really um, snowy day. You know, it's always best to click a few times and get the look right than to just click once and have it look very, very harsh and okay. unnatural. There it is without width. Okay. Just cleaning its image up just a bit okay. more. Now let's go, go ahead and pull that out. Our snow overlays. Now we're going to pull up the first snow overlay. This, this one's, one's got a lot dense. of smaller I like to use two details, so I'm going to kind of I have a horizon use line. this one on the back so ground this part the back. of the picture. Use the screen mode Put again. That in screen mode. It actually works a lot better if you have and a darker background. Flakes. Um, then the snowflakes show up a little better. Photo. But this is a very soft and subtle go back to the picture, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Okay, now and here's we where go. it gets a little bit tricky. Snow, the big go ahead and flakes up top, there. and we're going to put a layer mask, mask on both there. of those. And, and oh, there I go I with the scroll wheel. And I Be careful I with that. The alt before I use the Sometimes zoom the scroll wheel makes the blending, the, uh, <laughs> blending modes go okay. instead of zooming in and out. So let's see which of these I need to. Um, erase. Okay, let's clean up his face, her face okay, a little bit, get the snowflakes off of there. I'm going to get rid of those tinier, We're gonna the smaller, smaller snowflakes that I'm, I've got on the off. background um, on them so that uh, what's in front of them are the larger snowflakes in the front. Are. Clean that up, okay. zoom it out. Okay. Let's see what this looks like with uh, some of it, uh, some of these layers hidden. That's um, okay. Let's see what this looks like with some of these layers hidden. There's first layer, second layer. Well, there's the bokeh layer and the light layer. There we go. Just kind of clicking on and off those little eye buttons to see what light, what. Um, which layer we like, if we need to make any adjustments. Sometimes you can see something if you click off a layer and on. You see something that you haven't caught before. Alright, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching.